Hi, Phil. Nice to see you. Welcome to the AWS Enterprise Video Series. Thanks. It's great to be here. So today we're going to be talking about product development in the cloud, and we'd like to learn from your experience, what are some of the main differences in developing products in the cloud versus legacy IT solutions? Yeah, I think uh, the, the biggest difference is that uh, the things that you're having to work on in your native IT infrastructure to deliver new products and capabilities for your customers is that you have to focus on cap capacity planning and scalability and redundancy. And with the cl cloud native capabilities and services that you can uh, use through AWS, those things are built in. So it allows you to focus on creating value for your customer and more time creating products and features uh, that they might value. Great, so kind of along those lines, one of the things we also hear a lot about with uh, AWS is that it's a lot easier for customers to experiment and it's a lot easier for them to test and try new things. What does that exactly mean? I mean, how does that exactly work? Well, if you think about how uh, product development has been trying to work for the last several years with agile teaming, and um, user-centered design or design thinking, which is very uh, rapid, iterative testing of new concepts and ideas, and then scaling the winners. Uh, infrastructure, traditional infrastructure um, uh, architectures did not support that type of rapid deployment. It was very difficult. So we were constantly disappointing the, the product development teams and actually slowing down the, the customer and user feedback loop as a result. So now, with these capabilities where you can, in seconds, deploy thousands of containers to production um, or spin up uh, a machine learning model with an API call, you're really accelerating that loop um, that is in line with the pace uh, product development is expecting through their agile development and constant uh, delivery of backlogged items and, and uh, requests, as well as the user-centered design approach to uh, quickly testing new ideas and discarding ones that don't resonate. Got it. So wh why is AWS the best choice for organizations that are thinking about development and developing new products in the cloud? Yeah, really the, the, the simple answer is breadth of services and uh, the cost of experimentation because you can use over 130 different services, whether it's IoT or, or uh, machine learning, uh, and you can access these very rich, deep capabilities uh, very quickly, very cheaply, and if your idea or new product uh, um, doesn't get the kind of response that you expected from the, the customer, you're, you're actually able just to spin it down with very little risk and cost. Thanks, Phil, this has been great. So just in closing, what are some of your parting thoughts for the audience? Well, I think one of the things you'll see is as you move as an organization to uh, experimenting with the cloud, migrating to the cloud, and then reinventing in the cloud, is that it really unlocks the potential of your product teams to work at a really quick pace, leveraging really deep, rich services through AWS to really create new value for your customers at a pace that really wasn't imaginable previously and is really necessary for uh, your organization to be competitive in today's marketplace. Awesome. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.